Hey guys, today I'm going to do a chit chat, get ready with me video. It is not the time of day that I should be getting ready. It is way too late in the evening, but I needed to film today because I have been a giant slacker. I have not put up a video since last Saturday and it is Sunday. And I'm supposed to do every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I said to you guys, I think I'm gonna change my schedule from Monday, Wednesday, Friday to Monday, Friday. Well, you know what that did to me? That made me never wanna upload ever. Um, because I was like, screw all that. I'm just not gonna do anything. Um, so I'm filming three videos for you today. So I'm gonna be probably in the same outfit or similar outfits, but I'm gonna start off with this chit chat get ready. So I'm just gonna start off by using a moisturizer on my freshly washed face. And as usual, I am using the Josie Marin Argon Milk. And if you guys have not used this before, I'm not kidding when I say it's changed my skin a hundred times over. It's for one, the packaging is like incredibly beautiful. I mean, right? And it is such a good product. Not only is it completely unscented, I mean, it doesn't have any scent, but it soaks into your skin immediately. It leaves a bit of dewiness on your skin. And if you're looking for a moisturizer for sensitive skin, I think this would be the best. Um, I have a less is more type of skin. I wouldn't call it sensitive. I wouldn't call it normal. I wouldn't call it dry. I wouldn't call it oily. I'd say I have combination everything less is more for me. So more I wash my face, the more I use products on it, the less it likes me. So this has been my skin savior. I don't know what it is about argan oil or argan milk in your skin, but holy shit, you should definitely try it if you have skin problems. It has cleared my skin up so much so that a lot of days I don't even have to wear foundation and I was kicking that shit on before. So I'm serious when I say you should give this a try. I'm going to link everything in the description of this video that I can find online. I'm going to link it all down there and if you guys want to buy it, just click on the links and it will send you there. Um, so yeah, do that. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream just to uh, moisturize them a little bit so that they can get a little moisture while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. And by the time I go to put my lip stuff on, my lips won't look all dry and cracky and gross. And like I said, all the links for everything are gonna be in the description of this video. So I woke up this morning with a headache and I don't know why I have a headache, but it's really annoying me. And so I've tried everything already. I'm not, no, of course, no medication because I feel like my ulcer's coming back. Just, it's one of those headaches that's just all over, um, but I'm just trying to get past it and just be like, whatever, screw it, a headache is a headache. But headaches ruin my life. If you're a chronic headache sufferer like I am, I've been really good lately, I've hardly had any. But if you do suffer from headaches like I do, you'll know that like when you feel one coming on, it's like, well, whatever, my day's ruined, my whole life is ruined. It's a little dramatic. Procrastinating because I've been sitting around watching Community Channel all day. And if you guys don't watch Community Channel or Nat from Community Channel, oh my gosh, you guys don't know what you're missing out on. Her, her videos are so hilarious. She's so relatably funny. She's like an Asian Ellen. Is that super racist? I don't know, either way. You guys should go watch it. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description of this video. And what's funny is when I'm making my videos, I'm like, I'll link it, I'll link it. I'll link all of this in the description. And then when I get back to editing, I hate myself for saying all of that because the linking takes forever. Oh, and by the way, the makeup that I'm doing today is makeup that I wore in my Instagram day before yesterday when I went over to Marie Bits and Clips house. I'll link her too. Uh, but when I went over there, I had done my makeup in the morning and I wore these big Bambi-ish lashes. And um, a lot of you guys really liked the picture on Instagram that I posted, even though it was just like a crummy quality one. Um, so I will, I'm gonna try and recreate that makeup look today. And now that my foundation is done, I'm going to move on to... What am I gonna do, my eyes? I guess I'll do my eyes. I used the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette um, when I did the makeup the other day. <sighs> Don't even get me started on this. So, as a base for my eyeshadow, I used the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which is like what I always do. Do I need to zoom this camera in a little bit more? I'm a little far away, let me get a little closer. Not that any of you really care, to be honest. So the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, just to even out my eyelid tone. And then 
I'm gonna go on with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. So as I was saying, I went over to Marie's, it was the day before yesterday, and it was so fun, you guys. If you don't follow Marie, and you're interested in like, uh, mommy uh, vlogging people's daily life, or um, she's really good friends with Louise from Sprinkle of Glitter, so if you guys are interested in seeing videos that she had put up with her in it, go check out her channel. I'll link it in the description, it's Bits and Clips. It's pretty self-explanatory, but anyway, her and I's channel could not differ anymore. Um, I am so... Okay, well she is just bubbly and... By the way, I'm taking the orangey color in the chocolate bar palette. But she's just so bubbly and happy and positive thinking and... So if you really like my channel for like its crassness, you probably will be like, you guys are friends. It's very... Um, different so we filmed some videos together so one for her channel was very um g rated i would say like pg pg 13 15 is what we kind of went for you guys will see when you watch it we're not going to upload them for a little bit because we have to edit them and get other videos at first but as soon as it comes up i'll make sure to post it everywhere i did a kind of a cut crease which I'll do in just a second, but right now I'm just darkening up the crease and I'm kind of going with uh, lighter to darker. So right now I'm using, um, it's like one of the milk chocolate colors. Um, then I went through with the darkest brown color in the chocolate bar palette and sort of just cut the crease a little bit. Just a tad bit higher than my natural crease because if you do it right on the crease, sometimes it can get hidden by your eyelid. I don't have super hooded eyes or anything, but it, it, it can sometimes get hidden. So I just do it, it, I mean, I'm talking like a hair over my natural crease so that when my eyes open looking at you, you can see the cut. So now I am using the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight. I'm gonna put my highlight on first for anyone who's seen my videos recently. I highlight first now and then I contour and then I blush because it just makes it feel like, it look like it's like a lit within glow. Um, it really makes a difference. So if you're looking, I'm just applying my highlight with my fingertips. You can apply it with like a fluffy brush if you want, but I kind of like the concentration of when you apply it with your fingertips. Like it, it gives like this, you can't see the glow because my lighting's so dim, but um, it looks so nice. Also take a bit down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, and a little on my chin right here. Now I'm going to take the bronzer. This is the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm taking it on my Zoeva 106 powder brush and just gonna kind of contour with it. I used a different brush the other day when I contoured, but it really doesn't matter if you kind of sculpt it with the side here. I officially bought my ticket for Vlogger Fair, so if you guys are planning on going, I think it's the 16th of August. I'll put the information for that in the description of this video as well. If you guys are in the Seattle area, you guys should totally come to Vlogger Fair, um, which if you guys don't know what Vlogger Fair is, it's sort of like a gathering where people all get together and it's like for YouTubers, viewers, whatever. We will all just kind of hang out, get to know each other, meet each other. It'll be like sort of like a small meetup thing. It's not like VidCon or Playlist. It's not nearly as big as those. I think it's only on its second year. It was last year, the first year. Um, but I, I don't watch his YouTube videos, but Chris Perillo, I think is the one who started it, which is pretty cool. Um, so I, I bought my ticket, so I'm officially going. I'm also going to IMAX. I had a viewer that thought I was saying IMAX, like the movies. I'm saying IMAX. That's I-M-A-T-S, that's International Makeup Artist Trade Show. And um, no, I'm not a makeup artist. I like doing makeup, obviously. But um, that is in Vancouver, and that is on August 9th or 10th. I haven't bought my ticket for that yet, because I want to make sure that I'm going on the day that Sam from Battle Ash is going. It's actually creepy of me, but I just want to make sure that if I'm going up to Canada, I can meet her, because she's one of the main reasons that I am going. So I got to text her or something and see if she's going. I bronzed, now it's time for blush. Now, uh, the other day I did use the Luminoso from Milani, so I guess I will use that again. Um, I'll also use a little bit of this one, which is Rose de Oro. Um, I'll use that one first, I think, which it looks like that, and the difference of the Milani Luminoso and that one. You see the difference? This one's Luminoso, and this one's Rose de Oro. It's a little more bronzy. 
If you use that towards the back of your cheeks and then Luminoso towards the front, it would look really pretty. Um, this is just the NYX eye, uh, Retractable Eyeliner in black. And I just lined my upper and lower waterline. Um, are they Ardell Double Ups? I think it's 203 black, if that's the right case that is. But oh my gosh, these lashes are intense. Like you guys, they're not the most wearable lashes when it comes to like work or, I mean, for a function, if you wanna look badass, wear these lashes. But holy crap, they are seriously fluttery, big giant lashes. You guys are gonna die when you see them. I'm gonna film a completely separate eyebrow tutorial because I have promised people that I'll give like an in-depth eyebrow tutorial. So um, I'm gonna show you how I apply my eyelashes real quick. You won't see my, eye my eyebrows in this one, but I promise you the video will be up soon. These are a little thicker banded lashes. Well, I don't mean a little thicker. They are a lot thicker of a band on the lashes than that of which I'm used to using. So they, they are, oh my God, my glue just sklinged out everywhere. Lashes are a bit more difficult to work with. So if you guys are used to uh, a thinner band lash, you can see how thick the band is on this one. And it makes it a little bit more of an advanced eyelash. So if you have a really hard time with them, you might have a really hard time with these ones. So uh, maybe start with a beginner lash first um, and just make sure you let them get really tacky first. Obviously with metal objects near your eye, be super careful because you know, you don't want to poke your eyeball out. struggle is real, but look at these eyelashes. I know, right? Let me get the other one on. So first I'm gonna take Nude Illusion. This is the Maybelline Elixirs. And uh, this is what I was wearing the other day. And it's a very wearable nude because it's not too light. And this is a gloss, but it's so nice like you guys will love these for one they smell really good they smell so unique um and this is the way i like to wear this gloss because i wanted my lips to be a little something more than just the average um like a nude lip or something um and then i added a little bit of vision and violet over the top which is this crazy purple it does not even show up crazy in here oh my god these eyelashes are like amazing so hard to tell so i put in a house of lashes order Mm, two and a half weeks ago I checked my tracking number and they just now reached my state two and a half weeks and they were out of stock of one of the lashes that I wanted it was one of the ones I really wanted it was siren and um, so they have to send me Bambi which is fine except for it's got brown hairs in it so I'm not really used to wearing brown I like I kind of like my lashes to all be that bold black but um, so yeah, I'm not super impressed with House of Lashes so far. Um, I know that I'll probably love the eyelashes because some of the ones that I got are amazingly gorgeous, but I'm a little frustrated with their customer service. In the outer corner, I'm using that dark brown again. The same color I used to cut my crease with. Just kind of smoke out the bottom lash line. Ugh. I feel like I've hardly talked at all. And if that's what you guys like, me just to shut my fat mouth. I cannot do my, my mascara without like wide opening my mouth. Why does it help? Is it like, cause it moves your cheek out of the way? It fucking drives me crazy. That's the eyes done. Okay, now I'm going to film my brow tutorial and I'll be right back. All right guys, so that's the video. I know it was kind of boring just to watch me put my makeup on and hardly talk to you guys at all, but um, it was super fast and easy to do. Just normal tutorial for you. It wasn't even a tutorial, it was just to get ready with me. But I hope you guys like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel, it'll update you when I put out a new video. And I'll have videos up Monday, Wednesday, Friday because I'm going to try and stick to my Wednesday schedule if I can. If you guys would like to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and now Tumblr, you can follow me, all the links will be below. And I thank you guys for watching and I will see you at my next video.